Alright guys, so a lot of you guys requested on my community vote to do some more memes that actually make sense because you guys said that my memes don't make sense. I think they do, but I'm going to try to make more maybe uncanny memes or other memes that actually make sense or like memes about Amazon shipping for beanie boos. Oh, and by the way, this is my favorite, Opal the Cat. If you want to get her, she's usually at the store shoppers drug mart, and you can get her at Amazon too. Because I'm starting to become a meme creator on the e lighters which I was for the past couple weeks, um, YouTube has decided to approve some comments on my meme, on my meme posts, and a lot of them say like. You should really make better memes than that. You're you're a meme creator. This that you should be better at. But you know what? I'm gonna follow your opinion. I'm gonna make creative memes like what I just said, and maybe make memes about how people pretended to be pregnant back in the early two thousands, which is like this: you put a balloon under your shirt, so it looks like this. It's hilarious. You use a balloon to pretend you're pregnant. Other memes like trolled memes and um, uncanny and canny memes are more likely to be fancy to eye because and uh, viewed by the eye because they have recorded most information from an uncanny website, which is uncanny meme website. A meme website, basically. Now I use a special website to make these memes and. Because I'm, you know, kind of a newbie at making these memes, I'm going to try hard. So, on my community, I've had memes that have made progress, and I've gotten, like, 30 likes. So, if, if you guys saw those posts, let me know in the comments. And it got, like, double the amount of comments, like 60 comments, saying you should really make more memes, and memes that you should really make are, uh, say, troll memes. Um, the next meme I'm I'm gonna make on my community posts is a trolled, a trolled meme. So if you if you want to see that one, go check out. Um, go check it out. Hopefully, I'll be able to copy link and if copy link, and if I do, it's gonna be in the description. The link is gonna be in bio. However, we're not done this video. You see, I might even make memes of Beanie Boos. I know, I might have said that earlier, but Opal's pretty cute. And yes, Opal is going to be on the memes too. However, I also do uh, polls. Nothing has to be just about memes, do I can make polls. Some polls get like 10 likes and 4 comments or something like that. And one person said on my community poll that if I continue making these polls, maybe I can become famous. I'm using your advice, and believe me, because they're already making me get more subscribers anyway, so. Basically what I'm trying to say here is when is when making videos on community posts, you're getting subscribers from that. Likes, comments, shares, all this stuff. And any person who comments, and I have a challenge, any person who comments E on my meme um, posts on the community poll, or on memes, like community po posts, memes, anyone who comments E on it will be pinned. That comment will be pinned. So if you want to be pinned, just comment E. You know why E? Because E is a meme too. And I might use the E meme too. And if you ever heard that ridiculous song, Rush E, you're just playing the piano so weird. They're, they're doing it really fast. It's pretty much impossible to do it. Those people who actually make those videos are kind of said to be maybe a little bit clickbaiting, maybe, because although it may seem like they're playing the piano really fast, they're actually not. However, you know, I'm getting off topic, so back to the topic. But in, but even there are even more stuff to say other than memes and polls. There are stuff to say that 
might interest you. Like just normal words. Words like just a normal just a normal paragraph or sentence. Just a normal sentence or paragraph you can say. Like one I said was uh usually uh, was about memes. And it said so instead of meme of the day, I'm gonna post things like like meme every hour or every week. It's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna depend depending on how often I wanna make those memes. And I also want to kind of include images that I've already made instead of screenshots of the memes I already created or saved to photos. So, or saved to files. So memes are saved to files. However, I could upload images. Um, like, so, like I, I, I said some, I uh, made a, a post saying some cringe photos of me. One was like, and one was like, you know, and one person said that the first one kind of looks like I was screaming, so that was kind of funny. Um, are you okay? Beep. Sorry, she was just... Uh, I was wondering if she was okay. I'm getting off topic again, so... Anyways, I might also do some community posts about... Relatable content. Doesn't necessarily have to be memes, but relatable. And sometimes I make community posts about that I... That, um, link to videos. You just click the the video that's on the community post, and it shows the video. They're my videos, by the way. I might do others that are not my videos, whatever other videos that that may um interest others that are not my content. Maybe from Vsauce or your other channels like Hasa or Spotlight Booze, which is funny videos and cool videos about Beanie Booze. And Vsauce is not about Beanie Booze; it's an educational channel. So back to the video. Voting is a very important thing. It's not just voting that can be in polls. I made a poll about finding emoji, and it got about five votes, and all of them chose the one in the middle. All the emojis were like, but then the odd emojis were like, you know. So, if you um wanna see my community posts, you should you should stay tuned in. Okay, I know I have below five hundred subscribers. But it's not that hard. All I have, to, all I had to do was email YouTube to get the community post, and it was fine. It was fine with it, and everyone was fine with the thing until a specific date, February fourteenth, twenty twenty-two, twenty twenty-three. This date, people started commenting stuff like, which was, but this was Valentine's Day. People started commenting stuff like. You should make community posts. Come on, man. Some people make community posts uh, before 500 subscribers, and I tried to explain to them that, that like, dude, I don't know how. Then they just told me how. All they had to do was manage videos and go to the top section of it, and it says posts. I realized that I haven't created a post yet and that I should create a post. Actually, I did. And it was 400 subscribers. Let's go. It's when I reached 400 subscribers. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. The average amount of subscribers a person have, to, the average amount of subscribers that one must get to create a community. So I did it about 100 subscribers early. However, because of all this, and because of all this, because of all this, we have experienced a lot of delay in our community post. This means that memes that have been created for about four years may not get as much attention because they've been going on for about four years. Or maybe they've been going on for 14 years, so they're a classic and it'll get like 50 likes or 100 likes. But whatever the case may be, it's no doubt that community posts are quite popular amongst the community of YouTube. After all, the... The page on the channel is called Community. Community, in my opinion, may stand for Communicate. However, this video is still not done, if you can believe that or not. Community section is a page on YouTube where, well, this is the definition of community. In simple forms, in simple forms, a community is a page on YouTube on a channel 
That's usually given to one that hits 500 subscribers. Some, a lot of channels actually have community polls before, community polls before 500 subscribers. And it's a form of communication on YouTube. A lot of the community posts are, are from different things on their mind. Usually, it's like the Facebook side of YouTube. If any of you use Facebook, I do, but YouTube community, like YouTube is kind of like an app where it's a bunch of social media apps in one. So there's the actual videos on YouTube, right? The full videos. That's just YouTube. Then there's YouTube Shorts, which relates to TikTok. And then there's um, community posts that relate to TikTok and Facebook. Relate to Facebook. Some on TikTok, too. Actually, TikTok is planning to create a community for anyone who surpasses 100 followers. Community posts on YouTube are for anyone who surpasses 500 subscribers. And if they have a little bit more of a community post, and some videos that may be educational, they might get a little bit earlier, but the thing is that it's only when there's more than one video that's educational. If it's just trends or whatever, then you're not gonna get it about five minutes. That's the thing, I do have some educational videos. How to play Roblox Walk on Balls, how to figure out polymythic mathematics, all those stuff. All those educational stuff, but well, one is from June, so. However, a lot of people no, the community posts are kind of Facebook related, and a lot of adults use Facebook. Facebook was originated in 2010, but YouTube was originated in 2006, and so was Roblox. Roblox is also a website that has social media, but the thing is, it's not that much. You see, you can message your friends on Roblox. You can, you can apparently even, like you can, like when you play a, a game, it's live, right? Well, that's the thing is because it's live, there's even a live chat. Just like you see a live stream on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, or Facebook, they have a chat too. The thing is, is that live chat isn't really available, available for people under the age of 12. And you shouldn't even really live stream below the age of 18 either. You know why? Because there are lots of cyber bullies. The internet can be a dangerous place. So Social media can be a, a dangerous place. So kids, just remember that the internet can be a dangerous place. So take it seriously. Trying to say as much of, as of this in this video as possible, it might be over 15 minutes. It's already over 13 minutes. The thing is, is that most people on YouTube are under the age of 18. That's me. But a lot of people, what a lot of people don't know is that YouTube can be a dangerous place as well. So, in case you want to realize that YouTube is a party with balloons, until you find some sort of hacker or scammer that may take all your money or may just cyber bully you in a very bad way. After all, hackers and scammers do exist. They're rare, but they're very possible. And they're not entirely scary until you hear about the facts about them and maybe actually get hacked or scammed. I almost got hacked and scammed at the same time, but I got none. I immediately, um, uh, I immediately extra hid my, um, my ID and passport, so they could never even get them. YouTube is, after all, pretty fun to use. It's no doubt that memes can't be on communities. After all, we can make even a poll but what meme did you like the most on my channel? Or which meme do you like better? Trolls, Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny? Uh, Stranger Things be like? Wednesday be like? Wednesday Adams be like? Uh, when your mom tells you to do the dishes? When your mom says to pause the game when it's not even possible? When your mom tells you to clean the house? 
There are lots of memes on the internet, most of them being relatable and about meme creation and text. However, a lot of them are on YouTube Shorts and don't really involve text. And most of them have below a thousand subscribers. Because a lot of people below a thousand subscribers aren't really text experts. And it's not like they can really upload TikToks to YouTube. Sometimes I do upload TikToks to YouTube. I'm doing that less, however, because I might get some copyright claims. Now, why do hackers... Now, the point is right here. Why do hackers and scammers even exist? Can't they learn the lesson as, as a child to be careful and to not hack and scam people? How to be nice? Well, some people simply don't care. And that is wrong. Most people who eventually do get fired and maybe in prison for hacking and scamming real bad, they already have a job they might even get fired. Now, Opal, my favorite Beanie Boo, in the Beanie Boo stock, could get burgled. There are burglars and robbers out there too, and it's not a, it's not a good thing. It's a crime. A lot of people who commit crimes end up going to jail, and you don't want to get in jail, do you? That would be very depressing and sad. So, I don't want you to be in jail. So, yeah. Anyways. Back to YouTube. Uh, back when I had like 30 or 40 subscribers, I made a video explaining of the topics of hacker and scammer placidity, which is safety. So, when I explained that, I eventually knew that hackers and scammers do exist and they're very bad people, and I saw. And I saw this video on social media saying how to get rid of hackers and scammers with just two clicks on this app. It's called equipment. Equipment does a lot of stuff. It can make you gain subscribers. You know how? It may not seem possible, but it is quite possible. See, it increases subscribers by giving unimaginable texts to subscribers to make them to uh, like unimaginable text views and to view the eLiverse and subscribe that's why i have almost 500 subscribers now equipment is does cost money but it's not even two dollars it's like one dollar 79 cents or something but little do people know that i can also Clean away hackers and scammers and bugs and viruses on your phone and stuff. And it can also um, even block users in a premium way. You see, for someone who's mean to you on text, see, say if you have some, say if you have narcissistic activity on your messages, we will help and we can have a settings. We do have settings to turn on blocking activity premium which can which doesn't even cost any money it can get rid of hackers and scammers and also narcissistic activity on your contacts so basically what i'm trying to say is um hacking and scamming bugs and viruses it can get rid of it and it only and it only takes about 30 minutes it only takes about a half an hour it takes, um, usually for another app like that, it'll take a good two or three days. This one only takes like half an hour. You know why? Because it uses a special kind of device called a micro BC chip. A micro BC chip is not just your average micro chip. A micro BC chip, which, um, you, um, can order, a you uh, a us um you know you can order a uh micro bc chip on amazon and it only costs 30 cents making it one of the cheapest items on amazon now because it's so cheap you can access it in your phone and you can slide it in the um the charger hole and it'll um go deeper into the phone and if you have the app equipment it'll it can remove viruses and bugs immediately this micro BC chip is one of the microchips 
on the motherboard that can help with removing bugs because of this um well our phones and computers already have a lot of microchips this micro bc chip um you can install in your phone and it can connect to wires such as bc wires they can connect and form electric cables which almost act as brooms and mops to mop away the the uh, hackers and scammers. That means it can extra privatize your ID and your password. I have the app, um, and it, it can also privatize your email. Everything of every personal information about you that hackers and scammers can access. And because of this, this app is going down and might even be free someday. However, only to know whoever has this an increasing item. This item is a very important thing to search on Amazon. Only costs 30 cents. Equipment costs $1.71. They're both very cheap. Because of this, equipment can access your very items on your very app store and access them to remove any bug or virus. Even a beanie boo. Even a simple freaking beanie boo can help with removing viruses and bugs even then. And you can also access it by accessing the link in bio, not in this video, but on another link in the pinned comment and bio. It's a link to lead you to um, a Google, to Google, and you just look up equipment. But it's not just any Google. It's Google Chrome Premium. This link makes it for No, I'm not even scamming at all. Like, th th like, I've tried it before. I can even show you later this video. But later. So this link leads you to that. And you can just search. And there's a link at the bottom of the screen too. That says equipment.coa. Um, at equipment.coa is, is a website that if you click it, leads you to equipment to buy it for $1.79. If you have the money, you can buy it, and it's very, very, very interesting and very important to buy. Now, I'm going to get my micro globe. I'll catch up with you then. <sighs> All right. All right, guys, so this is a micro globe. Now, a microchip, a micro BC chip is this thing right here. So this is a uh, sort of a ball in your phone. It's accessed as a globe and it's inside a phone or computer. It's obviously maximized in size because it's like a, sort of like a globe, like a simulation. So these are all the microchips, right? This is the micro CP chip, the micro BCA chip. But then there's a micro BC chip, which is, which lies underneath See, the, the micro BC chip connects to the micro BCAB chip, which is this purple thing right here. The micro BCA chip, this purple, that my thumb is on right here. Yeah, but then this is a micro BC chip. Right here, that my finger's on. Micro BC chip, as you can see right here. Anyways, it's any of the green things that connects to the red. You can see it at the top right here. Right here. Any of these chips you have that are not immediately in your phone. You have to buy it on Amazon. And most and about 98% of the phones do not have this. You have to order it on Amazon. Only about 2% of phones have this, mostly from ordering it on Amazon, and about 0.1% of phones have it naturally. Usually they're microphones. Microphones can actually be useful for calling and texting for in microphones. But a micro BC chip is not just any other chip. It connects to the purples and co collects data from the purple one and electrolyzes 
the core, which is this red thing in the middle. Right there. And it and it opens up slightly by electric current by adding electric currents to the core and sort of bending the viruses in shapes such that they the physics makes them leap. So it basically like sweeps them away. It's pretty interesting the physics and science of all this. But what I'm trying to explain here is that this thing is very important and if you buy it you'll experience $40 free um free card on your Amazon delivery. This means you can experience 80% off on your deal. With this being said, um it goes from very expensive to least. So now because it's 80% off, it's $31.50. However, it used to be much more. It used to be like, you know, 70, 80 something dollars or something dollars. That's very expensive. It's a good thing it went down like 30 something dollars. The micro BC chip, the, 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 uh, freaking BC chip. Micro BC chip. BC chip. My mom's making that. Up. Any chip that's defined as low quality will be and shall be considered as large and small quality. There are four types. One, BCA. Two, CBA. Three, DDA. And four, EAA. These chips will be defined in the center of the core, which is directly inside the core, which will help electrify all the small cores and viruses. That will be and defined as the core of the virus that will be defined to remove any virus or bug. Your phone is like gonna be like legitimately 100% safe with all these. Because with all of these, um, with all these chips on the motherboard, you can literally access the entire website of Wikipedia. That is insane. That can remove any virus. Your, your phone will legitimately be 100% safe. This app, um, has only about a thousand downloads. So why don't you download it and consider having a subscription to not only the e-libraries, but equipment. Let's explain more about the chips anyway. This video is literally not done. So, the microchips help. So, the micro AT chip helps with charging devices. Micro IE chip helps turn on the flashlight of the phone if you're on a cave or something, which don't you are. If you're looking at if there's any acne in the door, I just explained that. Micro chip AEP helps with the battery saver. The micro PPP chip helps with the battery itself, which comes in about two forms itself PP and PPP. Micro PP chip and micro PPP chip. Micro PP chip comes with anything, any battery below 15%, and PPP goes between 15 and 100. So if you're confused, let me explain. So basically, the micro PP chip helps uh, below 15%, which makes the battery uh, go red and very red. And check the micro P chip. Helps when the battery is going way too low below expected, which is below 5%. 5 to 0. Now, above 15 is the PPP chip, 16 to 100, which is just normal. The yellow part of the battery, 50%, when it's yellow, comes with the micro PPP chip. can also protect bugs in four different ways. One, by cleaning and different chips and recording information. Two, um, privatizing your ID. Three, informing viewers on your phone to elaborate more. And number four is to access hackers when hacking your device. Delete them. The four P's re also represent the four different ways that it can remove viruses. P1, P2, P3, and P4, which are all four smaller chips that are about, not four, not five, but six times smaller than the actual chip. That's crazy, isn't it? Because of this, 
if you um spill all of the the uh, chips out of your phone, you'll be left with not forty, not forty thousand, not even forty million, not even forty billion, but forty trillion different chips falling out of your phone. That is crazy. But there's not forty trillion um chips in your phone. There are actually more like seventy quadro in tablets because they're like big phones. There are even more, approximately 1.5, not quintillion, not sextillion, not even septillion, but 1.5 octillion chips. That is insane. The most common one being the micro AB chip, which is the 24 trillionth one. This is starting to be crazy. But this is where the fun part starts. This is where the interesting part starts, is that... um. If you take any object and place it in the camera, there, you can actually access hacking and devicing that can be recorded within about 3,000 kilometers. That may seem like not a lot, but out in space can be even more. You see, out in space, hackers, hacker device scans can be up to three light years. Because of this, when recording a device, when recording a video on your camera, like what I'm doing right now, a hacker can easily access you. Now, it's very rare, and that's why I'm not really afraid to make videos. But there's a 1 in 3.4 quadrillion that it can actually accidentally access. Now, because this is so scary, hackers, and because hackers are so serious, we have to make a deal. And that is to create playlists. Um less than 30 videos in the playlist you know why because up to 40 videos you can access um um sexual information no matter what playlist you're creating that's right when accessing a hacker you can experience about up to thirty thousand videos of sexual content that's not good for a device now this is very rare about a 1 in 4.3 quadrillion possibility. But when experiencing hacking, call your local authorities or call 911 if you want to experience um, the police experiencing your ID and privatize it so the hacker cannot, and to privatize it so you don't have to worry anymore, at least to the hackers or scammers, and no, no, no. And because there are so many reports of people being hacked, it's best to stay out. Stay safe out there, guys. Also, because of all this, internet Wi-Fi and transferring data can last about four hours, and this is because when transmitting Amazon deliveries, about $40 is putting into that 80 kilometers of surface area. This means that any microchip that you order on Amazon will go up from 30 cents to about 65 cents. I mean, it's just a warning. It's just a warning that but it's not even close to a dollar yet, so we should be fine, you know? By the way, did you know that about 30 or $40 is admitted from the from the fair, and if you can continue to extort apps, you'll be paying about $40,000 on those apps. It's truly crazy how about 40 hackers in the United States of America have transmitted by radio signals in the past three years. And about 22 in the past year or so. Fun fact time. About 340,000 transmitters a year open up the safety of hacker and limited to the app of equipment with about 440 people. Also, the most amount of hackers is not in the United States of America, but Portugal. You can transmit about 300 likes per hour. The only problem is hacker-inducing situations lead up to only about 4 likes an hour. The Beanie Boo Opal and Alette are the most comprehensive Beanie Boos prone to hacking. Sad. And they're some of the cutest Beanie Boos. In about 350 trillion microchips a year, happen to be in the in the most 
expensive phones, costing it at around $35,000. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then smash the like subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.